Hi, my name is Sahira, and welcome to my online belly dance studio. Welcome. Today we're working on one of my favorite movements that I hope you'll enjoy. It's called the Ami. We're going to be building it from flat-footed hip lifts, as well as a pelvic tuck and release. So let's go ahead and start with the basic isolations, and we'll build the movement from there. So two pieces that you'll need to create the Ami. Your hip lift which is here, so you're in your belly dance posture, right? Your feet and knees are in alignment. Your knees are slightly bent. Actually, the more bent your knees are, the more play you'll have in your hips because we're not allowing our heels to come off the floor. We're keeping our heels on the floor. I'm using my knees to create this up and down as well as my obliques to get a little extra pull up into the body. So bending one knee and then the other to lift and lower the hip and using those obliques here on either side of that belly button to squeeze the hip up into you as well. Go ahead and bring the arms into second position for now and using those knees to hit the hips right and left, right and left. This is a nice, even smooth movement. Right and left, right and left. Like I said, the lower you plie, the bigger your movement will be. And the smaller you plie, the smaller your movement will be. So go ahead and bend those knees, but be sure to keep the knees back behind the toes. So this is your hip lift and drop, right and left, feet flat on the floor. The other piece you'll need to create this movement is a pelvic tuck and release. The pelvic tuck we use for our regular everyday dance posture, creating a little bit of a tuck by bringing the hips underneath you, thinking about engaging slightly with the muscle just a couple of inches below your belly button to bring the hips underneath, thinking about a nice long back. For the Ami, we're going to take this a step forward and engage even more to bring the hips underneath you as much as possible, as though you could crease yourself in half underneath your belly button. So think of this as a nice low tuck, not as a contraction of your entire abdominal region, but just of your lower abdominals. This is the same movement you would do if you were taking a Pilates class and they have you lay on the floor and think about rounding out that, that little lift that happens in the back. If you think about engaging these muscles, you can press your spine onto the floor. This is the same idea. You're using those muscles below the belly button to engage and bring your lower hips in towards the center of your body. All right, so this is our tuck. The release is the opposite of that. You're releasing the hips. You can think about engaging ever so slightly on either side of your spine in the back, but be very gentle here. You never want to hyperextend and compress your lower back too much. So I'm tucking in, keeping the knees soft, releasing, knees are still soft. Tucking in, using the pelvic area, releasing that, let it go. Tuck it in and release. You really need to release the belly to get a nice full extension to the back, but don't go as far as you possibly can. Think about keeping it a little bit controlled so you keep this movement underneath you. Tuck and release. Tuck and release. Tuck and release. Good. Keeping the knees nice and soft. Knees and toes are in alignment. Upper body is still, so nothing is happening in the upper body while you're creating this pelvic tuck and release. You might feel your glutes squeeze a little bit as you bring the hips to the front. That's fine too, but concentrate on making this movement come from the lower body. Tuck, release, tuck, release. Let's do one more. Good, okay, so let's build the movement now. The Ami can go clockwise or counterclockwise. We'll do them both today. Let's go ahead and start with clockwise starting on the left. So we're gonna to put together our isolations this way. We're going to lift, bringing that left hip up in towards us. So my left knee is higher than my right, right? Straightening the left leg, keeping the right knee bent. Then I'm releasing that and I'm coming to the front. I'm tucking the pelvis in. Hips are in alignment, knees are equal. Then I'm gonna to move to the right side, releasing that tuck, lifting up here with the right, straightening that right knee but never locking it. And then our last piece is releasing to the back, protecting the lower back, but releasing here, releasing that tuck that we had. Going back to the beginning. Lifting on the left, using the knee and the oblique. Tucking in the center, using those lower abs. Lifting on the right, using the knee and the oblique. And releasing to the back, you can release. You can use the muscles on either side of the spine and the lower back as well. Left, in, right, release. Left, in, Right, release. Upper body is nice and steady. Nice strong arms, knees are soft. The softer your knees, the gooier this movement will be. Sometimes we do the Ami, just like this, we call it an Ami box, where you're doing four discrete pieces with a stop in between. Left, in, right, 
release one more like this, and then we're going to smooth it out. So now we're going to take it to a true Ami, left, in, right, release. So I'm thinking, instead of thinking four hard contractions, you're going to think of four soft contractions that smooge one right into the other. No stopping here. So it's a continuous circle. As you contract from one, you release and move on to the other. You want to think about this contraction going all the way around your abdominal area and around to the back. Left, in, right. Release your weight is slightly back towards your heels. You could wiggle your toes if you wanted. Left, in, right, release. Left, in, right, release. A couple more just like that. Last one. Good, let's go ahead and build that the other way. Exact same four contractions, we're just gonna put them together in a different order. So we're gonna start here on the right hip, lift the right using the knee and the oblique. Tuck in with the center using the lower abdominals. Lift the left using the knee and the oblique and releasing to the back, just relax it all. Right, in, left, release. Right, in, left, release. Right, in, left, release. Let's do one more, and then let's smooth it out. Here we go. Right, in, left, release. Thinking smooth contractions that run all the way around the body, keeping it nice and gooey, knees are nice and soft. Right, in, left, release. Let's do two more here. Last one. And now let's go ahead and drill that with music. All right, let's go ahead and start on the right, going counterclockwise. Ami box, here we go. Right, tuck, left, release. Right, tuck, left, release. Keep breathing. Knees and toes are always in alignment. Knees are back behind the toes, always behind the toes. Right, tuck, left, release. Right, tuck, left, release. Two more, just like that. All right, let's smooth it out. Right, tuck, left, release. Right, tuck, left, release. Good, nice and smooth. Last one like this, and then we're gonna speed it up. So double time, here we go. Right, in, left, release, and right, in, left, release. Right, in, left, release. Good. Keep it nice and smooth. Make sure the right and the left sides are even. Let's bump it up one more notch, see what happens. Right in, left release, right in, left release, right and around, right and around. Right front, left back, right front, left back, right front, left back, right front, left back. Four more, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. Other side, nice and slow. Left, in, right, release. So our Omni box, clockwise, starting on the left. Left, in, right, release. Last one here. Now let's go ahead and take it to the smooth, nice and slow. Left, in, right, release. Left, in, right, release. Two more. Nice, smooth movement. All right, now we're gonna speed it up. Left, in, right, release. Thinking about all parts being even and equal. No starting, no stopping. I'm not hitting any particular part of the movement. Nice and smooth, continuous circle. Few more here at this speed. Upper body is nice and still, shoulders are open, neck is relaxed. All right, let's double time. Left in, right release, left in, right release, left in, right release. The more you bend the knees, the gooier this move will be. Let's do four more. Here is four, three, two, and one. And that is your Ami. See you next time.